Welcome to episode 3 of our P&O Oceana Cruise Vlogs. In this episode, we visit our 45th country, Germany. So, good morning. Good morning all. Or good morning. Morgan. <laughs> so we've um, arrived in Hamburg. So we've had a lovely night's sleep, haven't we? And we're all dry. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> so um, we've, like I say, arrived in Hamburg. Let's just show you where we're at. So this is Hamburg. Oh, and there's an officer on the bridge. Look there. So um, we're right near the front of the ship, but yeah, so we've arrived at Hamburg, we've got a walk-in tour book today, so uh, we're going to go and grab some breakfast in Café Jardin, because we had our um, lunch there, didn't we, yeah. yesterday, and thoroughly enjoyed it, so we're going to go and grab some breakfast there, and um, get off the ship, and find the town hall, which sounds like the shuttle, there's a free shuttle into town, which takes about 30 minutes, so we're going to jump on the shuttle, and get off at the town hall, and go on our walking tour. We are. Yes. I'm really excited about this because we've never been to Germany before. It's our 45th country. So um, we'll uh, take you with us. So let's go. Cafe Jardin is on deck eight. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and in the evening, turns into a speciality restaurant. So we're in Cafe Jardin for breakfast. Um, it serves breakfast till 10.30. So we've ordered the poached eggs, haven't we, Paul and Morgan? Poached eggs with, um, <laughs> with the hollandaise sauce. So let's just see if they're uh, too oh, on the Oh, explode over. <laughs> Perfect. We're gonna enjoy these. It's lovely, isn't it? Tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Well, there's a little buffet bar in here as well. We can get some little uh, pastries and little sweet treats. I've got a pan of chocolate. I've got a lovely, lovely egg. Oh, chocolate muffin. Chocolate muffin. And a cup of tea. So obviously all low calorie as usual. <laughs> Hamburg can be found on the River Elbe. It's around 55 miles from the North Sea. It's the second largest city in Germany and it's the third largest port in Europe. Right then, so we're off to explore Hamburg and look who we've got with us. The famous Travel Rob Jamie. No, that's not me. <laughs> so we're just I'm in the Dorothy, <laughs> So we're just in the terminal um, just trying to find the shuttle bus. Which we presume is this way. The bus will stop at the Sophie Tell. Please make a note because this is where we pick you up again. It's about 100 meters from the Rathaus, the city hall, and it's in the Jungfernstieg area. There's someone there with a designer jacket. If you have any questions, the buses alternate 20 to 30 minutes. Last one returning at quarter to 10. You have the whole day. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. She's a local girl, isn't she? Knows that. So as you gather, we're on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there we are. Yeah. So we're off. Should take about 30 minutes apparently. So we've booked a free walking tour and we've uh, been told to meet the guys. I'm hesitating because these two are keep talking. <laughs> They're being very naughty. Hello. Yeah. What? You say noisy? Naughty. I'm not out here. So, so we booked a free uh, walking tour before we left the UK and we've got to meet the guys with the, the red umbrellas that are here. So we've just met them 
and uh, booked in so we're just about to go and explore Hamburg ah with a stowaway yeah <laughs> so this is inside the town hall in Hamburg So, so far we've learnt about Hamburg, 2,300 bridges. She hasn't learnt a lot at all because it's 2,500. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and they've been making beer here since the 11th century yes. and it was a staple part of their diet. And there were 500 breweries and only 42 bakeries. Yeah. <laughs> but we've always said that beer was good for you, but nobody believed us. <laughs> This is the oldest knockers in town. Not the ones on the outside, the one in the middle. Pictured at the Church of St. Peter's and is believed to date back to 1342. This is the Church of St. Nicholas. First completed in 1195. It suffered a fire and then bombing in the Second World War which has just reduced it to just the crypt and the main tower. From 1874 to 1876, it also held the title of the tallest building in the world. We thoroughly enjoyed our walking tour with Sandemans. It's a free tour, but you are asked that at the end you give your tour guide a tip, which we were more than happy to do. For more information of Sandeman Tours, click the link in the description below. Another way to get around Hamburg and see the sights is on the Stadtrun Fart bus. No laughing please. It takes you to all the major attractions and prices start at 18 euros and 50 cents at the time of filming. With hypothermia properly kicking in, we found the warmth of a local German hostelry the ideal place to take refuge. So we found a bar where we've got two small beers and then look at my wine. Look how big it is. There we are. Cheers guys. Cheers. Cheers. I managed to get away without paying again. <laughs> I did. Yes, we'll tell you all about that later. People asked Jamie, how can he afford to travel all night? It's quite easy really, he doesn't pay for anything. No, I did. I bought them a coffee. It was a really expensive coffee as well. Anyway, we found this lovely bar. Mm. We don't know where we are or what it's called, <laughs> but, we, but, like uh, it. but we like it. So cheers all. Cheers. After a couple of drinks and feeling like we were finally starting to warm up, Jamie had the bright idea of, why don't we walk back to the ship? We are currently on a bridge in Germania. <laughs> no, it's not Germania. It's on the boat, yeah, yeah. So we're finding our way. Where are we going, Jamie? Jamie's taking us on a that mystery tour. I know, it's amazing, right? The sun's out. It's a bit too cold. Beer. What we're going to do, we're going to Photoshop the sun in after. <laughs> it's no, a little I'm bit chilly, Willy. Oh. Yeah. We're going to so find beer, chips and big sausage is what we're oh. going like. Hey, happy days. So here we are in Hamburg. So Jamie says it's not far to the ship. Me and Paul, you think it is? It's a bit windy, mind. Are you warm, honey? Jamie from... Blobber and Travel <laughs> Jamie. Whatever he's going to bang our heads together. <laughs> he's going straight to bed without any supper. Ah, it is a bit chilly.
Jamie assured us that there'd be loads of great places to eat across the waterfront. Unfortunately, one of the few places we found open was this delightfully named little gem, Fish Fanny. As tempting as it sounded, we decided to walk on past and go to a little chip shop further down the road. Here we enjoyed a cone of chips with lashings of mayonnaise, but we did have to fight off the seagulls. So, <laughs> we're walking to the ship and we've the taken most, Jamie's advice. The most beautiful walk you've ever been on in your whole goddamn life, by the and way. And he said, let's walk back to the ship. Let's not get the shuttle from the Sofitel. So, I think it was me who said that. What do you reckon? Oh, I think Paul's really impressed. He's over there. Ah, we can't find and the now ship. we can't find the ship. Ah. We saw it just now. It's here somewhere. <laughs> Anybody see the ship? Yeah. Hello, Oceana. She? She? <laughs> Yay, there she is! Whoop whoop! Oh, Windy Windy! Hey, hello, ship! Paul's really happy still, aren't you? Paul's bursting for a wee. Ah. We thoroughly enjoyed our Jamie inspired tour of Hamburg. We would definitely like to return, but it needs to be in the summer. So we're back in our cabin after a what? A, how many hours um, have we been in Hamburg? Um, I know we've walked 478 miles today, and <laughs> I'm not one to exaggerate. <laughs> Five miles, I believe, and it's six well, hours. But we've had a, a fun day with Jamie, haven't we? Yes, Travel we have. Jamie, do check yeah. him out. We'll put a description below of his blog and everything because he's great. Yeah, no, he's a nice man. He is a very nice man. But we've also come back into the cabin, which we are loving. Now it's all dry and, and hunky dory. And look what we have here. Chocolate strawberries. And there was a little note on there saying this is just for Mr. Morgan. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, look at them. So there we are. So back on, we're going to get scrubbed up. We're going to be saying goodbye to Hamburg. We're not setting sail until what, 10 o'clock tonight? 10 o'clock, yeah. So we're going to go and grab a, a meal in Ligurian. Ligurian. And, um, well, that's right, aren't we? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. See so, what the rest of the night has in store for us. Exactly. So we're off to Explorers Bar. We are. We? Good and tired from Hamburg. Hey. Good. <laughs> So we're off to Explorers Bar to meet Jan and John and hopefully have another raspberry creme brulee. The best cocktail. If you come on Oceana, get to Explorers. I've drank a lot of cocktails in my time. You've sounded I'm... like it then. Well, I, I have. Like <laughs> and um, they are superb. So we're going to try and get to the Ligarian, isn't it? Yes, and it if is. not, we've been told now we can get a bleeper that we can just sit in like we've done before on our cruises. So um, we want to eat in the main restaurant tonight. What are you looking at that? Well, I just think it's funny. Yes, we're going to eat in the main restaurant and we're going to soak up the atmosphere and take in the entertainment and we'll let you know how we get on. Two good things about sitting in the Explorer's Bar. One is, it's the home of Carol's favourite cocktail, the Raspberry Creme Brulee. And two, you get to look at the stunning views that is the Oceana Atrium. It is absolutely beautiful. We had a lovely meal in the Ligurian restaurant, but we do have to say that tonight the service was particularly slow. However, the food was amazing. So it's about 10 o'clock at night now and we're just about to leave Hamburg. Actually it's not warm but um, quite pleasant walking on the promenade deck but I'm sure as soon as we get out to sea it's going to be a little different to that. Unfortunately we're following Storm Dennis and uh, we've got day at sea tomorrow and we've already been informed that we're not going to make Amsterdam, it's too dangerous to go to Le Jumden. 
Um, I'm not sure that's the right pronunciation, but we're now going to Rotterdam. So we're not too disappointed with the Amsterdam, we've been there before. We are disappointed that we've booked a tour, an independent tour, so we've lost a bit of money with that, but we live and learn. So um, yeah, so next stop is Day at Sea, and then we're going to Rotterdam, which we have been once before, um, but we didn't get to explore it a great deal. So actually, um, maybe it'll be a good thing, who knows? With Carol off exploring the ship and getting ready for Sail Away, we headed to the Footlights Theatre to check out the rock show Vocal Extreme. Holly Morgan is watching the rock show. I just love a sail away, so I'm just sat here all on my own, my like Billy No Mates, waiting for us to sail away. Happy days. Keep him warm with my piano dressing gown on. I do love a sail away, even in the dark. We've had a fantastic day in Hamburg, and would love to come back, but hopefully when the weather's a bit warmer. Join us in episode four, where we enjoy a day at sea en route to Rotterdam. <laughs>